Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long, long, long time since I did uh, since I did a vlog. It's been forever. I've had stuff to vlog, but I just haven't felt the urge to do it. I'm not sure why. I've wanted to many, many, many times, but anyway, um, it's Sunday, April second. Hi, how are you, everybody? And uh, we're on our way to visit. Um, his best friend and my friend who's also my boss in New York um, we're gonna drive into Manhattan uh, which is my first time driving into well I'm not driving but I'm gonna be the passenger of somebody driving into New York my family would never do it but Maddie is much more intrepid and he loves to um, he loves to do new things and to explore and he's driven into New York a few times himself He's from Morocco, so the driving there, just to preface why he's so uh, brave, is it's not brave, it's just he knows how to drive in very uh, interesting conditions, let's just put it that way. Um, and I am not so brave. You <laughs> uh, Anyway, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit. There, I've been wanting to do a video and maybe I'll start a series about anxiety and how to like, you know, how I deal with it and how I, how I kind of help myself. I'm surprised today I'm not that, I'm not that bad. Usually like before we're going to do something new, I get a little stomach ache and I'm like, oh, I just want to stay home. But today I'm not, I'm not feeling too bad. I'm not feeling too, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I put a little bit of makeup on, as you can see. A little bit of lipstick and you know woke up I think I woke up at 9 and he woke up he said he was gonna wake up at 10 and it was more like 10 30 10 45 and we had breakfast uh, kind of sort of I had a piece of uh, it's called pudding cake which is basically like kind of like a pound cake and what did you eat Manny? Oh, some like uh, Italian cookies, and we had coffee. Uh, I made it, and many made it in the French press, which is great because it was just like one cup, one cup, perfect. Not too much, you know. Knowing me, like I'll drink a bunch and then I'll get a stomach ache. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. But yeah, yeah. Back to what I was saying is I I wanted to do a blog. Of, I don't know if it's like three weeks now or four weeks now I was having a kind of there's this thing that happens to me on the weekends and I'm gonna call them the weekend blahs where when I don't have something scheduled I get kind of depressed and I don't end up doing anything as much as I want to do something like I just can't get myself up and out and like to get that like you know let's go so and then when I do have something planned say to go out with friends I get anxious and nervous like right before and I want to cancel so you know there's all, I always see these like cartoons and memes about this phenomena so I know I'm not alone in this and so I know that I'm speaking directly to some people who have this same what are you doing real life here guys his, his pants are a little bit tight so when he's sitting down <laughs> so he has to unbuckle them while he's driving <laughs> sorry he wasn't doing anything illicit over there he was just trying to unbuckle his un, unbutton his top button on his pants so he could be a little more comfortable while, he, while he's driving which you know why not be more comfortable be more yeah, free of so anyway he um, yeah so back, back to me Back to the important person. I'm Joking. <laughs> of course you're important. And anyway, Saturdays he works like half a day, which is going to change soon. And I'm off. I'm off Saturday and Sunday. I'm really, really blessed. For many, many, many years when I was younger, I used to work all day on Saturday. I always had Sundays off, but I worked all day on Saturday. Oh, so at one point I had a job as a cashier and I worked on Sundays too, which really, really sucked. Um, so my dream was always to have a nine to five, which you know happened about five years ago, and you know ever since then it's been so nice to have weekends off. But again, this conundrum happens where I just get like down. So a couple of weekends ago, we were visiting some friends 
couple of months ago and they mentioned that they were going to be going on a cruise in July to Bermuda and it, you know we wanted to go on vacation and we were tossing around a few ideas and it was just getting to the point where I was like I was afraid we weren't going to end up doing anything because we were just like you know indecisive and like oh what do you want to do what do you want to plan and then you, I just get overwhelmed with planning I have all these big ideas and then the planning comes into play and I like the planning part but then I just get overwhelmed because I'm like oh my god it's gonna be too late and it's gonna be da -da 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 -da. so this just sounded like the perfect kind of vacation I haven't been on a cruise I've always wanted to be on a cruise uh, to go on a cruise and you know to go with friends my um, my friend and her parents and then she has another uh, a family friend that's coming along so it'll be six of us all together and you know she just made it sound so good she's been on several cruises and she just like put it in these words and I always again I've always wanted to go on one and it just sounds like so much fun and like everything's contained and and, and big but I just want to put on the AC and let's see there we go just for a couple of minutes um Typically, we try not to waste the gas. <laughs> oh, oh we need down. to fill up, yeah. Where are we gonna go? It's fine. I think yeah, but you don't want to get gas in New York. I know where. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. Oh, he right. hasn't yet like had us on the side of the road with no gas so I'm gonna trust him this time and not worry even though I'm worrying right now inside it's always a worry that's my life worrying 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 um yeah so back to the cruise idea so she just put it in this like great way and it's so much fun and it's you know it's it's it was a seven day cruise to Bermuda and just how like relaxing it can be and you can put your day full of stuff or you can relax and so I was just like this sounds like so nice because a lot of our vacations thus far because we don't have a huge amount of money to spend has been to drive somewhere like we drove to Washington DC um, and we can make a vacation out of anything like for grad school I had to go to Detroit um, for a like orientation and he came along and we made it a kind of a like vacation-y like two or three day trip and it was nice you know and surprisingly like Detroit was really nice I, I I would definitely go back I thought it was cute and the place we stayed was really nice we stayed at an inn um, yeah sorry for the bumpy ride you guys it's not me it's the car uh, yeah so you know those have been typically been our vacations where it's just tiring and even when you travel like we went to Florida last year yeah maybe get over or you need to be in the other lane. No, it's okay. Oh, just this lane is really bumpy. Backseat driving or passenger side driving, I just can't help it. <laughs> Maddie's always like, super annoyed with me. Um, so, yeah. So that's been a kind of our vacations have been kind of not so vacation-y. You know, you need a vacation from a vacation kind of vacations where you're like walking and sightseeing and doing all these things where you know on the cruise I feel like we'll be kind of not forced to but you can walk you walk everywhere you walk down to the pool you walk to the restaurants you walk here walk there and it'll be nice to go with people who know what they're doing you know so anyway <laughs> we decided to go and and sorry real life there um We told my friend and she was super excited and so she's like okay we're gonna go down to triple a i'm gonna take it to the travel agent and she's gonna get it all set up for you and so we planned that early on a saturday morning and you know forced me to get up and get out and believe me like i wanted like i was tired from the day before you know to get up early on a saturday it's not the easiest thing when you want to just like sleep in and the weekend before or the weekend after i like slept late and i didn't you want me to turn something down? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can interrupt me if you want. Yeah. You can interrupt me if you want. Yeah, no problem. Oh. Um, and this stupid truck. You can't see around it. I hate, I hate trucks. I don't hate trucks. But I, as, as far as obstructing views on the, um, the throughway. Uh, yeah, so we're driving from Connecticut to um, New York. 
on I ninety five. On nine eight. really kind of proud of myself after that day like it started out in like a kind of anxiety like oh god what am I doing am I doing the right thing are we gonna have a good time and it's gonna and I gotta do something new and I gotta go meet to meet and talk to people and do things and like I don't know you know this is the the stream of consciousness in my head it's on a continuous loop that stops me from doing things sometimes and I didn't let it stop me this time and I and it helps when you have someone that you're accountable to so my friend it helped me to be like more accountable like I'm not gonna cancel on her but if it was me, maybe I just wouldn't like get up that day or I would email and I'd be like, oh, I can't come today but to my appointment or whatever. But it helped to have a friend to kind of spur me to, to do it. And, and we went and we signed it up and then uh, we went to Dunkin' Donuts and we had breakfast and I sat there and we talked and, you know, it was nice. It turned out to be a nice day and it could have been a not so nice day if left to my own devices of just like oh get up wake up late I can't I mean I can't sleep that late or I have to force myself like I'll wake up and I'll go back to sleep and I'll wake up and I'll go back to sleep but most times I end up just getting up like this morning I could have slept a little bit later which you know doesn't sound so late uh, nine o'clock I mean that's a little bit I'm not an early early bird um, I went mean, to bed a little bit late-ish last night so yeah I just want to talk a little bit about that anxiety and like kind of what what is helping me to get past it a little bit because I do have to force myself to do things and then I end up enjoying them and I'm like why didn't I just enjoy this in the first place but I'm kind of having to learn to forgive myself and say you know what I'm gonna have these thoughts and I'm gonna work on them and I'm gonna get past them and I just have to give myself permission to 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 do that to, to let myself work through it in the way that I need to work through it and and it might be a little bit of resistance from me at, at, at some point or you know whatever you want to say in my head I'm not gonna I can't I, anyway that's what worked for me in this case you know and I was super proud of myself for not only get up and going out but getting up and going out and doing something and making like a choice to go on a vacation and sometimes it's hard to do that it's hard to say you know what? I'm gonna do something for me I'm gonna spend that money that I could be using for something else and I'm gonna spend it on something that's you know but why not I work we work hard you know we work hard for our money and why shouldn't we do something that you know it, it, I'm not going to say this is a problem in America, but I, I noticed that we just don't take, people don't take vacations. Like, they just don't. vacations and you, you, you don't take days off and I noticed that some people in Europe like that's all they that's not all they do but they they take that time and they they have a lot richer fuller lives and you know I don't know it, it, it's it's a good thing and I I didn't used to do that and I didn't have somebody to do it with and now I have a traveling partner and he likes to travel he likes to try new things so I'm taking full advantage and even just something for me as simple as taking a beautiful day and going outside that used to be hard for me and it still is hard for me sometimes and sometimes it's not sometimes it's easy but like after during summer like after work I used to just go home just used to go home and sit in the house and sit in the air conditioning but then I discovered with with Medi that I can go out and I can go to the beach and I can get my little beach chair and be comfortable and I can read a book or I can look at the ocean or I can go in the water or I could play a game like a card game while sitting there or we could just sit there and talk and look at the sunset you know after work and, and use up that time and that's I really miss that this winter I, I miss that that outdoors time and the fresh air and the things like I used to think I was allergic to air it was something about the way that I was raised where we weren't we weren't my mom was a hypochondriac and she kind of kept us inside and she didn't she wasn't an outdoorsy person and I think it was partly because of all the bugs and all this all this and oh somebody might snatch you and it, whatever it is it, it all led me to be this kind of indoors indoorsy person 
anyway, this has been a super long talk, but I, I wanted to have a, a video dedicated to talking about anxiety and about this kind of weekend, weekend slump, weekend, you know, unplanned for, ang for an anxious person. It, it's hard. It's hard not to have something planned. It's hard not to have, you know, a couple weekends ago we had a birthday party, so we had a birthday party. And then, you know, then we had another birthday party. So, you know, you got to get up, you got to get out, you got to get ready, you got to get dressed, you got to make yourself look presentable. It's good to have those things, but there's some weekends where you don't have that and you feel lost. You feel without, there's nothing pushing you. There's nothing saying like, let me do And you can't push yourself. You're just unable to do that. And I've always had that, that, that problem where I felt like something was holding me back and it was me. It was definitely me. And it was more, it was something in my head. It was just holding me back. But I've been a little bit better these last couple of years and I just, I, I hope to keep on improving. And, you know, it was my first time overseas uh, last year. We went to Morocco in May. Um, we're not gonna go this year, I don't think. Mehdi might go for a little while to visit his family, but we're gonna be going to this Bermuda trip and we're gonna maybe go to Canada. We're gonna go camping a few times. So I'll definitely bring you guys along on those things. And maybe Mehdi will film a little bit for me while he's in Morocco. And we're definitely gonna go maybe earlier next year in the spring maybe in March or April and I'll bring you guys along for that because that'll be a lot of fun and I'll, I'm definitely gonna film when we're on the cruise and when we're getting ready to go on the cruise and all that kind of things and how I'm gonna pack and I'm gonna try to be a little bit more organized and, and not bring so much stuff but like the right stuff so anyway um, that's, that's what I really wanted to talk to you guys about because I feel like that's what I can talk about on my channel That's maybe a little bit different than other people and I've been trying to think about how to develop my channel and to be To find my own niche and I think talking about anxiety and how I Operate in this world is different than other people. You know, I don't just get up and go in the morning It's a little bit harder for me, you know, because I'm always thinking about what's going to happen and who I'm going to come in contact with and how I'm going to deal with that. And I'm always thinking, even when I'm talking, I'm thinking ahead, like, oh, am I going to say the right thing? Am I going to say the wrong thing? Is somebody going to look at me the wrong way? I'm like worried about what other people think all the time. And it's not, I'm worried about what I'm going to think. Like, oh, dear God, what did I just say? I was so stupid. And, you know, like that negative self-talk is a constant, constant thing in somebody's brain who has anxiety for ang certain types of anxiety and I'm not going to get into what kind of anxiety exactly but any, I don't know you know generalized anxiety disorder and then there's this kind of anxiety so I'm not going to go too far into all of that right now but maybe I will someday I'm going to do my research and I'll talk more about all of that but Betty's giving me the cut it off sign but it's okay this is a long vlog maybe I'll put it into two parts and I'll, I'll film a little bit when we're in the city or I'll put some I'll cut some stuff out um, but I don't mind I like long chatty vlogs I love looking at somebody else's life and seeing how they navigate through their day that's why I watch I, I love I'm a YouTube watcher like it's my release it's my after a long day at work <laughs> that's what I do is I sit and watch other people's YouTube videos and I like little glimpses and real glimpses into people's lives and I like the people that are a little I like people who make it look pretty and make it look great and wonderful and then I like the people who show you more than nitty gritty and the real reality of what they're going through and so I think I'll do a mix of that on my channel anyway so this might be like a continuing thing where I, I sit and talk in the car when we go on road trips and talk about anxiety and how I'm dealing with it uh, but today I feel pretty good you know so, <laughs> poor Manny, he's got to sit and listen to me talk all the time to you guys, and you know, out in YouTube land, la la land. Yeah. Anyway, I'm watching you on YouTube. Um, I will. Um, I'll check back in a little bit with you guys. But it's super hot. And we gotta open these windows. It's gonna be loud. Okay. See you in a little bit.
big cruise ship over there. And it's the Norwegian Breakaway, which is the, the ship we're going on in July. Isn't that funny? Yeah. We're just looking at it. And he's like, look at that big cruise ship. Really and uh, that's the one we're going on. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> waiting for us. Let's go now. <laughs> Traffic, of course, in, 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 in New York. We're in Manhattan? Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. <laughs> so now we're here, we're waiting to go find parking on the streets and wait for our, our friend to come down and let us go. Where is it? Turn it around. The video, yeah. Yeah. Much, 
you know, there's there's situations that you can't help that are going to be stressful, you know, and you're going to have anxiety about those. And I think you deal with those in a different way. But if it's something that's fun and you know it's going to be fun, and it's going to be worth the anxiety. So, yeah, get out there, go and do things. That's my motto. At least for now. You have a good day, Mitty? Oh, it's a really good day. You have a lot of fun? Mm-hmm. We had a nice lunch. Um, a nice walk on the High Line. It was beautiful, which you guys would have seen already. But I just wanted to come on and close out the vlog. Yeah, and just say we're headed home. Tomorrow's Monday. Back to work. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do our laundry, so we got to figure out how to do that. The room's a mess. We got to go grocery shopping. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, no, it was okay. still it was worth it to spend the good day outside. So I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful week, and I'll be back soon. I promise to do more videos, um, and you'll see me. You'll see my face soon. Good night, guys. Or good day, whenever you're watching this. I figured I should show my face and say good night and goodbye and good day and good morning whenever you're watching this um, and many too to sign off and say good bye guys bye bye see you later see you later